Hello and welcome to week three of the Healthy Chat Initiative. This week, stress management. We're heading down. It's about 11 a.m. We're on our walk on our way over to back to the Wellness Center. Taking a little shortcut around the back today. Um, Berber Park, we're gonna go get some stress management. Um, life is plenty stressful. You're a DOD civilian now in the last couple of months with all the uncertainty has been hectic and stressful to say the least. I mean, it's never good not to know where your next job's coming from. I know with the furloughs, I used a good portion of our savings to get through that. And then when this government shutdown came up, I wasn't sure how long it was going to last. I just knew if it lasted too long, I wouldn't have enough savings to bail me out of that. For those of you who read my column, I'm a big sports fan. And one thing I really, really need to do, and it might sound silly, but learn how to make sporting events that I watch, not even that I play, they have no effect really on my family to be so stressful. I mean, Prince Fielder doing that belly flop in game six of the Marion League Championship Series has absolutely no bearing on anything that technically matters. You know, if, he, if Tigers were in the World Series today, I'd still have bills to pay. But the fact is, that flop and knowing that they we were going to lose put so much stress and I spent so much energy worrying and fretting about that type of stuff I was just wiped. I had nothing to give anybody else the next day. And I know I'm not alone. Every Most sports fans that I know have moments of you know, event withdrawal. So, I'm going to ask about that here in my stress class. I mean, what are, what are some things that you know people can can do to get over that and i'm sure people are going to laugh and it because it, it's funny it's stupid i mean i should be more sympathetic to prince considering that we have such similar body types and things of that nature but i can't i feel no pity anything for him i just anger stress i know is something we're going to have i'm just hoping i can get out of this something that can help me deal better with some of the less consequential stress if that makes sense so this is my favorite slide of the entire presentation because i think this hits home for a lot of people so really trying to classify what stressors we have in our life so i mentioned before that sometimes it's even hard to just recognize what stresses us out we just feel so stressed either either by the overwhelmingness of everything going on or we're just stressed because we don't really know why we maybe just think we should be. Um, but really identifying what that stressor is for yourself is huge. It's just like when you admit that you have a problem. That, that first initial step of, okay, I have a problem, I need to take care of it, I need to, to control it. Um, that's kind of the same way with our stressors. What are our stressors? What are they going to be for our lives? Good stress, bad stress. It's good to know that I'm not the only person who... Uh, you know, it's funny, it was absolutely true that, you know, big type of stress doesn't seem to affect me until it gets very large, you know, like when school was closing out and I had, you know, all my finals and everything last year, that really got to me, but it had to take a lot to pile on to really impact me to where as one sporting event would just throw me off for like a day. So it's good to know, I mean, going out playing catch with the kids, you know, that might be a good thing. Um, taking a walk, doing something, and maybe just the priority, just to remember that, hey, it's not as important. It's okay to get upset or to not be happy with it, but to just try to prioritize so that it doesn't impact everything.